सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो टुडे वी आर इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस काइंड ऑफ कार्ड सो विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एंड वी विल रिक्रिएट इट एंड इन दिस कार्ड दिस कुड बी अ प्रोडक्ट कार्ड एज वेल सो एट एवरी एनी प्रोडक्ट कैटलॉग स्टोर सो डेफिनेटली सो वी कैन हैव अ थमनेल इमेज Uh, with the product name and a uh, little bit of product pricing and some little information and uh, like uh, maybe a manufacturer or something like that so it could be actually it could be a visiting card it could be a product card it could be a, a biographical card author card or i mean just try to understand the concept so uh, we will create it and uh, here just try to visualize it that uh, in uh, in the web development also like uh, we can separate a div with a class row and one row is having a 12 columns as a grid so we will also do the same thing here using flex box so the thumbnail will occupy say 25% of a space and rest uh, of rest of the screen space dimension so we will uh, provide that to our text part so we will divide it uh, accordingly and uh, we will do that thing so okay so uh, so let's now get into the coding so here this was our home component that we developed uh, till yesterday so we will be modifying this into a uh, visiting card kind of kind of thing or a product card okay so we will go to our home component and uh, in order to do that so we need to have a we will modify some something so we will have a parent view and uh, inside this parent view this would be a box uh, this would be actually the box so we will call it uh, we will provide a style and we'll call it styles dot box so we will create it create the this box and uh, this box is the outer container and inside this outer container we will have let's me copy it from here cause this would be a simple image as a thumbnail so we will be having this image and we will call this container this box as we will again go with a style and uh, here we will say it styles dot item so our idea is like one parent container will have one item one item to the left one view to the left and second view to the right so to the right also we will go with the same one and here we will have a some text so we will go with text and uh, maybe it could be a visiting card for example say so my name is there and uh, Uh, we can have uh, some kind of a designation so let's say full stack developer and also we can have something like some more information like uh, whatever like teen uh anything i mean uh, just uh, like may web and mobile developer okay developer so there is a typo so okay fine so this is these are the things which uh, we are going to have so definitely we will need to create two boxes two css classes so we'll go one by one so we will have one box it will take something and second we will have a item so again we will provide the the css styling appropriately very shortly so in the box so the first thing it should be a flex so we will go with flex 1 so this is the parent one so we want it to occupy the full space full space space of a screen that is available to it and also we want it to have some padding so let's say padding of 5 uh, should be look fine to me i think so and next we will have uh, let's say background color cause do you, you might remember that we have gone with a background color so that uh, a, a border should be could be there so we will go we will pick a color from this website 
and we will pick according to our choice so we can go with this one let's save it and uh, let us try to see it how it looks so okay fine so it is uh, looking something it is taking sh uh, some shape so definitely so we will not go with the full size rather we will go with uh, 100 by 100 because this is a thumbnail and also we will need to define flex direction because we want it to be row kind of thing so we will go with flex direction row save it okay so let me do do one thing let me resize it so that the moment we type in here so we can see the effect over here i think this is fine okay and in the item now try to create uh, do something in the uh, using with item and also i think we can go with some top margin margin top and uh, let's say five yes it's it, uh, it looks okay better and in the item it will also be a flex so flex and we want to occupy the um, say what uh, should be like, okay so better let's say flex one let's save it and uh, it should have the background color as white so that our we, we are having a, a thick outer outer uh, outer border right and uh, we can also do something more so we can give some padding over here as well so let's go with padding of, uh, of say five yes now it looks good and uh, in the meantime that uh, you can think of it you can see that we are having two items this in the uh, this was the box as the parent container parent box parent div and inside this we are having two two uh, two, uh, two separate views and uh, each of uh, each of them having is occupying the 50 percent space but that that thing we don't want it we want that only this, this thumbnail icon sh uh, should occupy uh, 25 percent space and rest of them should be available to the our textual content so we can override it so we will provide this as an array a styles as an as an array and uh, we will go with the inline thing inline css and we can go with flex and now assign it to value 3 so now save it and now our uh, this thing uh, looks fine and our this this uh, this right uh, right view is occupying 75% space so but yes so we will do something more to make it uh, look good and we also want this maybe do let's do one thing we will also go with margin left see five save it not margin rather we should go with padding left and let's say eight let's save it yes now it's uh, it looks good so there there is some space visible from the text content to the thumbnail so this is what our intention was so this thing is good and one more thing we can also provide some styling to our textual content so style equals and styles dot uh, let's say we should call it box as a parent container inside item and then text so this is actually this is a naming convention so uh, that uh, helps me to identify uh, where we are applying to the uh, this text css to where so that actually helps me to so i prefer to go with this this naming convention so that is up to you so you can go whatever way you like you are comfortable with so something more and now we will create this css class here 
in our code so we will create our CSS class and here the first thing I think we should change the color and we should go with black how about it so black our text is appearing a little uh, prominent next we will also increase the font size a little bit so font size how about 16 so let's see and also we want it to have some margin from bottom so that uh, our there should be lines so there should be some line spacing between two lines so margin bottom and uh, let's say three let's save it yes now it looks okay and also now okay so it looks good to me but one more thing which uh, we can do we want that this, this our this name should be uh, should be highlighted so we can either create a new CSS class or we can override this uh, this thing over here so we can provide an array array of a styles so and uh, in this array we can go with the inline CSS as well and we want the font size to be how about uh, 25 and uh, we want the font weight to be say bold let's save it yes yeah, so now it, uh, our card uh, is looking uh, much better but there is one more thing I think that I we should go we should uh, provide some margin here as well so that uh, actually, actually actually right now it looks to be very suffocated uh, between these, these uh, screens screens and uh, we can go here and provide some margin to 5 yes so we don't require this margin top because we have already provided the margin across the four corners so right now our uh, this card is appearing fine and we can also increase a few things maybe from font size 16 to 18 let's save it yes now it, it starts appearing well well enough so actually we can go go ahead and we can provide uh, the styles as as we like as we prefer so by the way so yeah, i have already provided the link to this color palette so there are plenty of colors you can choose and uh, so i think like our application is ready and uh, we can have uh, and one more thing we can also do that we can provide some minimum height say 150 not 150 should be could be larger so 130 120 yes now actually actually i think that uh, I, we don't require that i realize that so it looks good to me and so this is how we can create a, a stylish and fancy looking cards and it all depends upon our, our creativity and our thinking so hope you enjoyed the session and uh, if you have any doubts so please uh, uh, do let me know and uh, i'll try to answer them as soon as possible so till then take care and happy coding bye bye